A surfer in Northern California survived a bite from a great white shark last weekend. Now, these attacks are rare and almost always involve an adult shark. Carter Evans went to a California beach where juvenile great whites routinely swim with surfers. Now, researchers are getting up close to find out why this is happening. During what's proving to be a very busy shark season off Southern California, just beyond the surf camp students in the shore break. There's a fin out there. See the fin? Oh my God. A sight that's terrifying for most people. This shark? It's actually one of many. Most swimmers never even see them, but video from above shows countless baby great white sharks up to six years old and 10 feet long swimming among families and surfers. It's becoming so familiar here, something unusual is happening to these kids and their parents. Uh, hello, shark. They're not afraid. So you've seen sharks out there when your son is out here? Yes. It sounds weird to say, doesn't it? Yes, I almost don't want to think about it too much. <laughs> Anna Rudnicki says her perception of the apex predator is changing. I guess if my kid's right there and I just saw a shark go by, then yeah, it must be changing. Surf camp owner Chris Keat has a plan when a shark gets too close. What happens then? We blow a whistle. We have everyone come inside the surf line. We call it code black. So take a look here. This is the surf camp. All the kids are out in the water and that guy on the paddleboard there, he is a shark spotter making sure to keep these kids safe. They have basically come to accept the fact that there are sharks here and they're learning how to live with them. Chris Lowe runs the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach. We met him and his team just a few hundred yards offshore from the surf camp. I see it, I see it, there it is. During a week-long expedition, tagging and tracking a record number of juvenile great whites. We want to be able to predict where these sharks will show up. And to better understand what's attracting the sharks, they have to catch one. It goes from zero to 100 very, very quickly. Researcher James Anderson and the team wrangle it along the boat. It's thrashing, it's trying to get away, and then you've got to untangle it from the net. Get it onto its back so that it then calms down and goes into a tonic immobility state. He takes blood and tissue samples to help learn what the shark is eating, maybe a clue to why the shark is here. Then he performs surgery at sea. And the tag. Implanting a tracking device that will last a decade. I got his dorsal fin. That's researcher Emily Spur and getting hands-on with the 150-pound juvenile shark. She's responsible for monitoring and maintaining a network of underwater hydrophones listening for tagged sharks swimming by. So we're tracking these juvenile white sharks from Mexico all the way up to the central coast of California. This is all part of aggregating the data so you can eventually maybe predict when sharks will be around. And that's the goal. So if I can figure out if the, this habitat is perfect for them, then maybe we can say if another beach has similar conditions, then those sharks might be moving there. Ultimately, the team hopes to create a shark report to go with the surf report, so Southern California beachgoers know when to expect company in the water. You saw Jaws when you were a kid? I did, yeah. I had a lot of misconceptions. Uh, hello, shark. The children see the animals, and they no longer are fearing them in the same way. Off the coast of Santa Barbara, I'm Carter Evans for CBS Mornings. I don't get it. <laughs> you know why you don't get it? Well, you're a West Coast guy, but I was going to say, it's different in California with the sharks. They say that the sharks act differently on the East Coast. There's different feeding patterns, and it's not quite as safe. Okay, we, we know there's nothing funny about shark attacks, but they say it's usually adult sharks. So what happens when these juvenile sharks become adults, and they're swimming around, and they're like, hey, you remember that beach with all them tasty humans? Let's go back there. <laughs> do they bite? They have teeth, don't they? They do have teeth. But I like the parents saying, hello, sharks. It's a new way of getting acquainted. I think I'm glad somebody's doing it. It's Would not you get in me. the water no, with no, sharks? No, no, Okay, all right, no. yeah. You didn't even let me finish the N question? No, no, no. <laughs> Nate, it's very common knowledge. I'm not a brave person. No. <laughs>